you're already doing hydroponics. You just don't know it yet. Water propagation is hydroponics. You're growing plants in water without soil. But why do we grow plants in hydroponics? So that they grow faster, about 30% faster actually. So let's upgrade you. Let's start with an ounce of hydrogen peroxide per gallon of water. Now our water will stay clean. And if you wanna root faster, how about liquid rooting hormone? And once you have those roots developed, let's add some fertilizer. How about leaf flux? Works on aeroid mix, soil. I even use it on my olive tree. Ah, hydroponics do about two capfuls or three capfuls if you have a lot of light per gallon of water. Makes the water pretty. Now, the only thing we're missing is oxygen. $15 air pump on Amazon. Now we have air bubbles being added back into the water for oxygen in the root zone, because roots love oxygen. But you say, Chris, that's kind of annoying. I have to clean out the system. I have to change the water to keep that oxygen high in the water. And then I have to buy an aquarium air pump. How about a cup with some Leca and some holes and a freshly rooting Adansonii? Hydroponics. But you say, Chris, I don't want to water every day or two. Use a reservoir. Water just a little bit. Like this Majestic I've kept in the cup and cup system. You say, Chris, I hate Leca. Okay, do semi-hydroponics. Use Pond, which a lot of people seem to love, and water it like once a week. But the key is air in the root zone. That's what makes plants grow fast. So let's automate it to use a pot system I got off of Amazon. And this plant has been growing in it for 40 days since the transplant with just a tiny amount of water. And this has grown on leaf flux. You say, Chris, but hydroponics, you need to pH the water and do all this stuff in chemistry. No, you don't. The chemistry in this plant is way off, but it doesn't matter. We made leaf flux so it works for all hydroponics and aeroid mix applications. So here's our roots and here's our net pot. We're gonna fish at least one root through the bottom, which will sit in the water. The rest of the roots will sit in the net pot. Then we'll fill it up with Leca. It's that simple. This is just a reservoir. This has our, this has our leaf flux water and the pot drops right in. I think these are like 20 bucks on Amazon and they come with a wick like these that draw up the water through the media, just to be extra safe. Smart to drizzle over a little solution in the first few days after transplant, get those roots down into the bottom like this one, but to upgrade it, we add in the air stones, just like we did at the start. This plant started with just these two leaves 40 days ago. So this is a new leaf, this is a new leaf, and so is this one. And I'm just growing them under the Barina T5 shop lights, the $8 ones, and it's incredibly healthy. Look at the new growth. But you say, Chris, this is too manual. I have a bunch of plants. Can I automate it and water a bunch at the same time? Yes, this is the beauty of hydroponics. Get yourself a pump and something that holds water. Ah! That pump pumps water up into a tray and floods these pots about once every two days. It's called ebb and flow, and it's the most simple hydroponic system. There's lots of hydroponic systems, but that's the simplest. I grow all of these plants on the ebb and flow system. Have you ever seen Florida ghost leaves this big? I mean, look at these. This orange marmalade is longer than my arm. But once a day, the water turns on and floods to about here. And I have these huge reservoirs that hold all my nutrients. This is leaf flux. And gravity just helps bring the water back down into the reservoir after it's done pumping. There's a lot of different hydroponic systems that you can set up and grow them in rocks without soil. And we just use timers to run all these pumps. Look at my monster I've totally neglected. Someone told me that might be small form, the internet. For leaf flux, we took our most popular AB nutrient and just made it one bottle. And we made it pH balance so that when you put one capful per gallon of water, when you do aeroid mix or soil, it should look like apple juice. And you can't really over apply it. You can go like one to two with soil if you really wanna supercharge your plants. But we say feed weekly, but weekly. Every time you water, you should fertilize. And then if you're doing LECA, you can go all the way up to three capfuls, which is about 15 mLs per gallon of water. And again, because that higher concentration of leaf flux in this water, it brings our pH down to where we need it, which is about 5.8 to 6.2. I even water pond with it. 
anyway. So thank you guys for watching this week's video. If you did enjoy it, click the link down below to maybe consider purchasing Leaf Lux or our rooting hormone and supporting the shop and the YouTube channel. I love YouTube, but it doesn't pay my bills. Running a houseplant shop almost pays my bills. So I appreciate any support. And thank you to everyone who's already bought Leaf Lux. The support really, really means so much to me. Click subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you next week for another video. Bye-bye.